When I first saw you, I saw love. And the first time you touched me. Sorry, my life after meeting you has only become richer and richer. And unfortunately, for my character development, there have been no hard times or bad days ever. Every day I find something new I love about you and your beauty every time you walk in the room just reminds me of how lucky I am. Uh, Victoria is the most giving and generous person I've ever met. You always go out of your way to make everyone feel comfortable, taken care of, heard, especially me. I remember when I first asked you out how happy I was and how much of a stretch I thought it was, but I really thought I could go somewhere and when you said yes, I was just taken aback and blown away. Uh, you know, the level of encouragement and support you always give me is the best and it's how I know you're the best partner. Always support me and you're the best match. We're still together, still going strong. Nate, since I was a little girl, I've been dreaming about this day. However, when I met you, dreaming about just the day turned into dreaming about our life together afterwards. The phrase, marry your best friend, finally made sense to me. It wasn't just about the day anymore. My dreams became about things like what kind of apartment or house we live in, the holidays we get to spend together, and the life we get to build. Nate is patient, Nate is kind. Your patience is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. I know that I can be a lot to put up with, but you always show up ready to listen and help me work through any problems that we face. Together, I'm glad we didn't listen. Look at what we would be missing. It's kind of hard to imagine my life without you, as I said, because my stories are always revolving around Tori and I do this, or well, me and Tori this weekend will do this, so I'm kind of half of a person without you. Uh, I hope to still be playing music with you and you know writing cheesy love songs for you forever. Uh, I always promise to fill your water before bed, yeah, do all the boy jobs like taking out the trash and cleaning bathrooms, which I know some people debate about, but those are boy jobs. <laughs> and just loving you every day, I mean, you're the best. If there's anything I think of every day when I leave or I mean, I'm traveling, I always think I hope I've done enough for her, or rather, I hope I know how lucky I am in a sort of pinch me I'm dreaming, life is too good type of moment. So I'll end with the ultimate vow of saying I always want to keep that energy up and never stop going all out and never stop loving you to the fullest every day and, and pinching myself and knowing you've got it. Nate, I promise to love you every day. I promise to sometimes let you choose the music in the car. Sometimes. I promise to split and marry all of our meals when we go out to eat. To let you be yellow when we play trains. I promise to open our gigs with Valerie and close them with being grateful for you. I promise to keep laughing with you and keep exploring cities with you. I promise to be a good partner and choose you every day. You are patient, you are kind, you have brought me a sense of belonging I've never felt before. You are my home. Nate, I love you so much. Tori and Nate, your relationship has been a living testament of, to the values and love of partnership. I have had the unique privilege of witnessing your journey and I, and I look forward to seeing what the future holds for you. Now let's raise our glass to Tori, my best friend, my sister, and her now husband, Nate. I love you both. Congratulations. Cheers. Tori, you have truly tamed the beast in ways I did not think possible. <laughs> you got him to try and enjoy sushi for Christ's sakes. Ask his, ask his mom if you don't think that's Nate coming a long way. I am excited to continue on the journey of life, watching you both grow and flourish as a couple. 
always being ready for life's next surprise change and letting love be your guide. I'm so happy for you both. Everyone, raise a toast to Tori and Nate. Cheers. Ooh, one of the around.